Okay guys, so I will show you what I'm working on today. All right, so going camping this weekend. Look, camping in tents and stuff is fun, but you know, you're sleeping on the ground. If it rains, you know, you might get wet, whatever. And honestly, a good tent, you know, you can't even get a good one for like under a hundred bucks. So I was like, you know, I got this truck, right? And I'm like, why wouldn't I just turn that into a tent? What if you just made like a false bottom in here to span the wheel wells, right? So that way you can use the whole width of the back of the truck. You know, you got your, uh, your tie down spots here looks a lot to me like you can make a pvc frame and just like put a mosquito net over it or a tarp over it Okay guys, so you can kind of see my idea here. So what I just made uh, was basically these, uh, I guess like supports that are gonna go underneath the uh, OSB board that I bought. They very perfectly span the wheel wells here like this. So the wheel well is kind of the center support for these outer ones. And then the middle one here has a, uh, a middle support here. So the idea is I can put a sheet or a couple sheets of osb right over that and it'll make sort of a flat bed so you can utilize the whole width of the truck bed also um, that way you're not sleeping like directly on the truck bed All right guys, so now we're gonna make the PVC frame for the actual tent. So all we're gonna do is basically make a couple triangles. Um, so to figure out how long the sides of the triangle need to be, you just use Pythagorean's theorem, right? So I know that the bed width between the two uh, anchor holes in the bed is 65 inches. So we're spanning that, so that's gonna be C. You know Pythagorean's theorem is A squared plus B squared is C squared. So you just take 65 inches squared, C squared, take the square root divided by two, it comes out to uh, about 46 inches. Cheers. All right guys, so check this out. So I'll show you how this thing looks if you were gonna take this up north in the truck, uh, which is what I'm gonna do this weekend. So as you can see, uh, the two sheets of OSB just fit in the bed real nice on the bottom. And then, you know, here's those supporting pieces. So you really still have uh, the vast majority of the bed available to put coolers, uh, food, whatever, you know, other camping supplies, no problem at all. And then here is the frame for the tent completely disassembled. You can pretty much assemble this thing in any order. You don't really have to keep track of what parts go where. I mean, really, you've only got two different lengths of PVC pipe. So what we've got is, what I think, 12, 23 inch pieces, and then uh, eight T's. We've got four elbows, two uh, 90 degree uh, elbows with side outlets. So you know you have a three way essentially there. And then uh, four two inch pieces and then five uh, pieces that are, uh, I forget whatever the distance was between the holes in the bed. This will be the first time I'm like putting it together from scratch like that. And I bet you I can probably put this together quicker than an ordinary tent. Let's try it.
that was extremely easy guys honestly that's the first time i've ever put that frame together uh, from scratch and that took me probably two or three minutes bought this clamp set uh from menards just an 18 piece clamp set i think it was like 20 bucks and what's nice is that uh I can use this for the tent, but I also have clamps for any other purpose when the tent's not set up, right? We got a variety of different clamp sizes here, big ones, medium ones. We've got some uh, small ones. These are probably what I'll use uh, to clamp down this mosquito net. And then we even got these little tiny guys. Look how cute. All right, and then this is just a mosquito net that I bought on Amazon. I think it was like 12 bucks. It's designed to uh, like hang from a tree and cover you if you're like sleeping in a hammock or uh, you can put it over um, like a gazebo or something like that too. Uh, let's see how this looks. So to close the door of the mosquito net, I just got these little miniature clamps and all you can do is just bring them together like this wrap them around and maybe just kind of clamp them together like that if you're worried about the mosquito net blowing around. And you're ready to go. Ah. Oh yeah, and I figured I'd show you guys this because I know what you're thinking. Well, Austin, what if it rains? You know, you don't have any protection. I'm not anticipating it to rain, but just in case, I did pick up a giant tarp. It's a 10 by 12 tarp. Uh, that covers the whole thing so if it was gonna rain you just put the tarp over same thing right over the frame clamp it down and uh you are shielded from the rain so thanks for checking it out guys